Hello, today is a special one for me because today you get to meet one of my absolutely favourite people. The global community of chili head people is a kind of a small world and everyone kind of knows each other. And one of the nicest people I have met in the chili world is the lady I'm going to introduce you to today. I love her very dearly. She calls herself the Ice Lady. But I never found her icy. I always thought she was very lovely and warm and cuddly. And what you're going to see today is two people who genuinely love each other very much, enjoying each other's company and being absolutely stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, Edda the Ice Lady. Aha! It's you! Hello! Hello! <laughs> From me, 420 Chili Sash, and my beautiful friend above me, you can see there, Edda, the Ice Lady. We're very lucky to have Edda here. This is one of my favourite people in the world. And now I would like you to see why. And welcome, by the way, to this episode of Experts and Idiots. What do Edda and I have for you today? Well, I will tell you. Today, we have the Northern German Jabberwocky Chili Chug Challenge. Now, as you know, we are massive fans of surrealism and nonsense poetry here. And we have been working through the years to collect as many different dialect readings of the classic Lewis Carroll surrealist poem, The Jabberwocky. And today we're going to have our first Northern German dialect version. But who's this up there? Who's this lovely person? Well, that's my mate, Edda. If you don't know who Edda the Ice Lady is, you need to check out these links here. You will see all of the coolness that Edda is up to. My dear Edda, tell the lovely people in television land a little bit about yourself. Oh, uh, there's not so much to say. So I'm just like a chili head and I enjoy and love eating spicy stuff. I do it like I do challenges and I do reviews and that's it. She says, that's it, very modestly. As I told you before, those lovely links up there, you have to have a look and see what Edda is talking about because Edda the Ice Lady is famous for a number of things. And one of those things is that this woman is 10 times the man that I am myself <laughs> when it comes to being hardcore. You've seen me crying like a little baby over a tiny bit of chili, which I do very often. This amazing woman that you can see up here just look at her youtubes you're gonna see this person can stick the strongest stuff in the world in her face and manage to hold her shit together i don't know how you do it edda how is it that you hold your shit together like you do under such pressure i don't know i just i just can so i i just and i really enjoy the burn i really enjoy the way it burns in my mouth on my tongue and everything and if you enjoy it and smile while you do it and your brain thinks this is awesome so that's how I do it so I think everyone out there in television land needs to take that advice that Edda just gave you and think about that when you do everything in your life if you smile and enjoy it you can actually enjoy a lot of shit that, that might not be otherwise enjoyable. There's a lesson. I have one more. I have one more. If you smile when nobody's looking, you really mean it. That is truly beautiful. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it is. Well, I love it too. Boys and girls, as I told you, we're going to have a lovely reading of the Jabberwocky today. Now, first, we're going to have a clean reading without 
chili. And then we're going to have a chili dosed reading, a dirty reading. Now, Edda, can you tell the team your weapon of choice for your chili dosed reading today? What will it be? Yes, I brought my own tincture. This is an Edda the Ice Lady tincture. I made this from everything I had from 2019 parts, all the super hot, shredded, and soaked them with alcohol for a really long time and it's it's quite hot it's quite hot let me tell you out there in television land if you have no experience of edda the ice lady when edda the ice lady says it's quite hot that means it's fucking ballistic hot that's what it means so <laughs> let's see now what i happens. think i think most mortals would survive it it's not the hottest thing to out there <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, boys and girls, this one up here, she's a professional. So if you can get your hands on some Ed of the Ice Lady tincture, please be fucking careful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well. Where do we go from here? Well, first of all, as I said, we will have a lovely clean reading of the Jabberwocky to give us a taste of how this sounds in a fabulous North German dialect. Edda, my dear up there, are you about ready? Yes, I'm ready. Jolly good. So I hand over to Edda the Ice Lady for the Jabberwocky. Do I need to read the title too? <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to, my dear. No. <laughs> <So>. <clears throat> was brillig and slithy toast, the gaia and gimbal in the wave, all mimsy where the burrow goes and the mom was a grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frumious bender snatch. He took his barber sword in hand, long time in, in the max home for he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. And as an uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumphing back. And has though slain, slain the jabberwock, come to my arms, my beamish boy. Of rap just day, kaloo kalay, he chortled in his joy. Cross brillig and the slippy toes, the gaia and gimbal in the way. All mimsy where the burrow goes, and the mom was an outgrave. Outgrave. I love it so much. You know, Edda, my darling, as an English-speaking person, you learn or you hear that poem so often growing up in school, you know, and you read it and you hear it. And what for me is just a fabulous joy is when it comes through the, the prism of a non-English mind, the sounds, just so different and so <laughs> beautiful to hear. I'm sure all of our native English speakers out there, just like I, have never heard that poem sound quite like that. It's about time, I think, to see if that works under the influence of the evil stuff. Are you ready, Edda? Yes, always. I love it. Just okay, boys and girls. Open. The most hardcore woman I have ever known will give you a hardcore dirty reading. Edda, we are ready when you're ready, my dear. So I have half a dropper, okay? Jolly good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm nervous for it's you. Really chocolatey. <laughs> really, it does because it has a lot of chocolate parts. Dude, you're so fucking hardcore. You take a hit of fucking extract. I would be falling on the floor and your statement <laughs> is it's really chocolatey. Yep, I told you that's a special kind of human right there. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. It was mm. brillig and the slithy toes that Gaia and Gimbal and the wave. All mimsy where the burrow goes and the moan was a grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the fumious bender snatch. He took his bob, his sword in hand, long time the man song foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. And as an uffish thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the tulgy wood and burbled as it came. One, two, one, two, and through and through the vorpal blade went snicker snack. He left it dead, and with its head he went galumping back. And hast thou slain the jabberwock, come to my arms, my beamish boy. O oh, rapturous day, kaloo kalay. He chortled in his joy. T'was brilliant and this brillig, and the slitty tops that Gaia and Gimbal in the way. All mimsy where the burrow goes, and the mom rats out great. <laughs> I I have zero idea how you've managed to do that. All of you people out there in television land, that's not normal, all right? If <laughs> if you think that's what you do normally when you take tinctures of chili or extracts of chili, that's not. That is that's not half a dropper. Half a drop, half a dropper. It was only half a dropper. Edda, you're insane. As a, you're my favorite kind of insane. That's what I would say about that. I really, Thank you. I really, I have to say, not just to Edda, but to you people out there in television land, I have so much respect for that woman you can see above me. I literally, and you can look back at my episode where I was reading that poem, I am not able to do what you've just seen that woman do. I can't believe it. I didn't notice any reaction to that chili on you, Edda? Nothing. Oh, I had like, um, like, um, drools, like, I've, I've, I felt that. So it was a little bit more difficult to, to speak. But in that's it. Too. Boys and girls out there in television land, take a look at this woman up here and remember what you have seen. You can do anything you fucking want to do if you try and you work at it. Edda, thank you so much for your inspirational presence here today. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you a thank big, you. big kiss. Mwah. And the rest of you, oh, look at that, isn't that nice? And the rest of you out there in television land, I hope you enjoyed this unbelievably cool North German woman. From us two here, we'd like to say ciao for now. So, ciao for Bye now. Bye from the eyes, lady. <laughs> I'm just sitting here smiling. <laughs>